Okay, good morning, Sally. We thought you might like to see one of your prints being printed. All right, so here's your plate that we've labored over for quite a while now. It's been steel plated, which is why it looks like steel instead of copper. This is the ink mix which I've created to print it. It's a combination of a Charbonnel ink from France that has red and blue metallic pigment in it to give it a little viscosity. I'm sure you've probably seen etchings printed before. We start with uh, the darkest tarleton and pull ink out of the surface of the plate. We quickly go to fresher tarleton. As we're going to fresher and fresher tarleton, we see your image emerge. I'm going to put in a little bit of a lighter ink in the corners to lighten them a little bit. Alright, so now we come with the hand wipe and this is where I'll burn and dodge the plate with my hand. First I give it a fairly quick cursory wipe this is pulling the ink out of the highlights and not the shadows of the plate. And smoothing all the highlight tones. Once I've done that, I give it a quick inspection. And I'm going to start working on brightening the highlights and doing a little bit of strengthening of the midtones with my hand. I just put a little whiting on my hand which attracts the ink from the highlights. So right now I'm dodging the highlights with my hand and as my hand goes onto the plate I'm also burning the midtones just a little bit. Now I'm going to deepen some of the shadows and midtones just a little bit with a little piece of Tarleton. This is a technique called retrosage. It brings up the uh, shadows and midtones just a little bit and enriches them. It's grabbing the ink that's down in the pits of the plate and bringing that ink up to the surface. put the plate back on the hot plate to warm it up while I prepare your paper. This way. <laughs> Alright. So the tissue paper is printed very differently than I've, uh, I print most prints. It goes between dampened blotters because it's such a delicate paper just to infuse it with the right amount of moisture for printing.
sheet of blotter paper goes between the paper and the blankets. This paper is so incredibly fine that the blanket texture will show up and the ink bleeds through the Kozo paper onto the blankets. You can see we've got a nice Sally Man impression on my... and the print and paper combination are almost glued together. Ah, beautiful. All right. I hold it very still. There you go. 